Welcome back to the channel. This is the next day. Just getting ready to transfer the valve springs on the one that will go on that cylinder block. This is the cylinder head that I got from the junkyard that has the skunk tooth springs and the titanium retainers. Got lucky on this one. The next step, remove the springs, remove this spring, put it onto here, and get this block set up to be made with that cylinder head back again. My plan on the motor right after that cylinder head is mated on this block, I'm gonna put on the NA exhaust manifold, one right there. Yeah, I'm not gonna put on the sauce right away. I'm gonna give it enough time, enough mileage to, uh, to have that piston rings to settle in the cylinder. Yeah. Now that it doesn't have that dome, I'll be okay driving around on the streets with the current tune that it has on there as long as I don't hammer it. Plus I have the uh, AFR gauge and I can monitor that. If I know it's getting lean and everything like that, I'll stop. So that is the plan. Give enough time for the piston rings to uh, hone itself on the cylinder. I guess on this one I don't have to worry about separating the uh, springs because they're all the same. But the, uh, the one, the cylinder head that I'm going to use, I have to watch it. That has to be separated. The intakes and the exhaust. Hmm, I might just use this uh, retainers instead of uh, the one that I had. Might as well. This is the uh, TRC titanium retainers. In the beginning, I was kind of hesitant on using this. Turned out to be all right. No biggie there. Here's the difference between the springs. Oh wow, this is quite big actually, the skunk too. And check out the uh, inner. See the coil, it's getting tighter here. So is this one here. Yeah, quite a big. You gotta love this tool, man. Head studs, threads, all cleaned up. Top part, all looped up. And here's the cylinder head with its new, not new, but upgraded valve springs and titanium retainers, which is a skunk too. That's the one that I got from the junkyard. Might as well use it. Here is the most important thing. The head gasket. If you're building a G23, always use a F23 OE head gasket. Right there, that's the part number. And you know the deal, right? Make sure that the uh, copper is not being sandwiched by any of the two mating surfaces 
but I think I believe that once that thing is crossed it's similar to the same thickness as the gasket itself but it won't hurt if you find one that is uh, on the way yeah just remove it if I'm not mistaken the A01 is the one that the copper is in the way I have been always using the A02 and I never remove any of it if you want to use cometic head gasket it's all up to you but for me NA setup or turbo setup I'm always using Honda OE head gasket never had any problem with it alright I'm going to put the flip the cylinder head put the head gasket on and slap it on there yeah it's kind of hard to remove the the dowel pin so I'll just go ahead and put the gasket on top of it All right, we're we'll going back. Put a head stud on there. Just to align myself. It's just that the, the sealant, the intake manifold is in the way. Head studs. Head torque is 30, 60, and 90. Have you ever noticed that when you tighten it, like earlier when I first tighten it with my speed handle pay attention it's always 90 degree from here almost give it some time to relax next is 60 this is 60 
no, not now. Okay, let me see if I can get it with this. Till I get a bigger torque wrench. stop here till I get a uh, with an extra leverage I can get it through 90 with this but uh, I'd rather get the extra leverage we're back it's just a glitch in the mechanism all right this is 90 really like to try to give it just one pull but it's impossible spongy I guess the head stud it turns on me that's all right All right. Again, I'm going to give it time to relax, then I'm going to retorque it again. All right. I'll leave it as that. I think this is where I'm going to end this video but before I close out this episode I'm gonna put the sauce <laughs> This will be the title of this uh, episode, is putting in the sauce. Here comes the sauce, man. Cool man, 
it's looking good again yeah starting to uh become a uh another contender <laughs> it will be we'll see how much this thing will put out on a dyno i have said earlier i'm gonna keep it na for a while run it for like maybe like a hundred miles or so till i get back and we'll put it on a dyno yeah i think i'll be safe to uh to use the base map on what i have before i got the uh, afr gauge so i can monitor it all right uh, this is where i close out this episode thank you all for watching and make sure you like and subscribe okay and uh leave a comment thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys back bye everyone <laughs>